Hi, I'm Trisha, Research Manager at Immerse. I'm Christina, Curriculum and Assessment Manager at Immerse. Welcome to Connecting the Dots, Converse on the Verse. This show is all about diving into the pedagogy and efficacy behind Immerse, the first virtual reality language learning platform designed specifically for live language teaching and learning. Today's episode is all about who we are. You're going to meet Trisha and myself. I hope you enjoy this episode. My name is Trisha Thrasher, and I am the research manager at Immerse, a VR language learning company. And I'm here with Christina Cabbage, who can introduce herself. Hi, Christina Cabbage. I'm the curriculum and assessment manager here at Immerse. So why don't we start out, Trisha, and just tell me, tell everybody a little bit more about yourself. Yeah, so a little bit about my background. Um, I completed my PhD at the University of Illinois back in May of 2022, uh, so a little over a year ago. And while I was there, I basically spent the entire time researching how VR can benefit language learning and trying to see if it actually does benefit language learning. That was one of my big questions. Um, And so I did several studies while I was there, you know, looking at things like foreign language anxiety, looking at, you know, how it actually impacts oral proficiency and oral production, pronunciation, things like that. Um, And then while I was at University of Illinois, I actually became an Immerse research partner, started doing some work with Immerse, and that's what ultimately brought me here. So yeah, I have a lot of background doing research in VR. I have some background teaching in VR. I actually taught French for eight years as well um, in ESL for like a year and a half here and there. Um, and I've used VR in both of those settings too. Christina, tell me a little bit about your background. Sure. And I know we're going to go deeper into our, mm-hmm. our future podcast on the research because that's just amazing. Some of the things that you've brought to the table there. So I've been in the field of um, English language teaching and learning for about 30 years. Started out um, at a community college, spent about 20 years there, moved on to a private university and then a very large public university and um, have served as roles as a director, department chair, curriculum manager, all those kinds of things. But throughout my career, it's really been all about connecting the dots, just like the name of our podcast, right? So I've always tried to find ways um, to make content, make language approachable for learners, right? And so about connecting those dots, and I want them to have those authentic experiences. So, Mm -hmm. you know, we always try to use realia in the classroom, right, to bring in some authentic experiences. So I've you know, centered my career around, you know, creating those experiences, both in print and digital uh, for learners around the world and have done a lot of content creation. That's really where my passion lies between that and technology. So I was fortunate enough to do a uh, fellowship at Princeton University where I studied blended learning and web 3.0. And that opened a lot of It it was amazing. It was the best experience. Um, It opened my eyes up to like what technology brings to the table for learners and and how, you know, it automatically lowers that affective filter Mm -hmm. and and just really connects people across the globe to one another. So that's really what brought me here to Immerse because I was so interested in, you know, in connecting the dots with the emerging technologies and, you know, so impressed by all the research that you've been doing um, as well. So what exactly brought you to Immerse? That's a great question, Christina. So like I said, I, I actually was one of Immerse's first research partners. Um, we did a study where we were looking at ESL with sixth graders, or I guess EFL with sixth graders living in Spain. And so we were actually mm-hmm. teaching them. I was in the U.S. with one of my uh, colleagues at the time, and we were teaching them through Immerse. English lessons every week and obviously conducting research to see, okay, is this actually helping them improve and and all of that. So that was my first experience with Immerse. And to be honest, I was so impressed by the platform. Um, I feel like VR can be such just like a fun tool for some people. And when I was doing all my research and really getting into this, I, 
I was really like focused on like, okay, but does it work? You know, like I don't want to be like using this just for fun. I don't want to be bringing this into the classroom and going through all the setup just because it's exciting. Um, while that's, you know, great and all, but I wanted to make sure that it did lead, lead to learning. And so I was so impressed with Immerse because they had all these features built in to really facilitate lessons. And you could tell that it had really been like carefully crafted and built on previous research, but just pedagogical practices, like best pedagogical practices. And so, yeah, I, w I was doing research with them. I was going back and forth with, um, kind of the person that was overseeing research at the time. And then as the company expanded, she reached out to me and was like, hey, we're hiring a research manager. Would you be interested? Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, let's let's see kind of how this goes. And so I came on part time initially before moving into full time later after graduation. Um, but yeah, that's that's what brought me here. It's been a wild ride. I've, it's only been a year and six months, but it feels like so much longer. <laughs> like we've done so many different right, things. We've done so much in that time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I've worn a lot of different hats in that time. So I, it's yeah, definitely I know. In the short like... time I've been here, you've had a lot of different roles, but that just goes to show your your ability to write to to pivot yeah. and, your, and your understanding of the market. So so let's transition a little bit and talk a little bit about our goal of this podcast series. Mm -hmm. So the first is obviously just getting to know us. Um, but our goals, I think, are really twofold. We, we really want to share with our stakeholders and those interested in language and education and language learning and VR and the efficacy behind VR in language learning. And we really want to be transparent in doing that. And we want to also talk about the pedagogy that we employ on our, our platform, right? Our learn, connect, practice, play, right? We want to show everybody how our members are kind of moving along that continuum of learning a lot with built upon those four pillars. Um, and, you know, tell me if I've, I've missed anything there, Tricia, really just wanting to, to really be transparent and yeah, I think that is and pedagogy. Exactly. Yeah. And I think in in line with that transparency, we want it to be really conversational, um, kind of like a coffee chat every week of like, hey, let's discuss this feature. Or let's discuss this new research, um, all with the goal of, like Christina was saying, making sure our stakeholders kind of know what we're doing on the platform, but also anyone who's just interested in VR for language learning, whether that be more teaching or research, um, kind of a source for them mm -hmm. to to be able to see what's going on in the field. So I'm going to transition us to talking about what is Immerse. Um, if you're tuning in and you do not know what Immerse is, the first thing would, that we need to do is obviously tell you a little bit about our platform. So Immerse is the first VR language learning app that was specifically designed for live language teaching and learning. So you might have heard of other ones like Mondly is a big one, Immerse Me is a big one. Um, and those platforms definitely have their strengths, but they're not focused on live teaching. They're focused on students interacting with AI avatars and doing kind of more um, scripted role plays and things like that. And so that was kind of like the foundation of our platform was really focused on human connection. And that's even still in like our company's mission statement as like creating human connection. Um, and so within our for the live classes, students can take them in over like 35 different environments with different, you know, expert language teachers. We have them for English, Spanish, and French. Um, Christina mentioned earlier kind of our learn, connect, practice, play are the four pillars of Immerse, and, and we'll dive more into those in, in later weeks. But um, we also have within those live classes, we also have conversation groups. We have AI avatars that students can interact with. We have games they can play. Um, so it's kind of like an all-encompassing VR platform, I would say. Yeah. And I, I think you hit the nail on the head there to, to point out the fact that it's it's different. We mm -hmm. understand that language is social, right? And so it can't be just that simple drill and kill. Right. Right. We, we need a piece of the authenticity that the classroom environment brings that that human connection, because, again, language is very social. So but the amazing thing is that we can do that if we're talking about ordering in a restaurant, we can be in a restaurant. And mm -hmm. order, right. So I think that's a real game changer, being able to communicate with 
people, right? Not just robots um, mm -hmm. in a social, authentic environment, but then using that AI technology and leveraging for what it's, it's meant to be leveraged for. So it's just really exciting stuff, I think, that's happening at Immerse. And I'm excited that you and I are going to be able to chat about this in, in, in the next few podcasts as well. Yeah, I am too. Um, so I guess on that note, we'll close out for today. I will give kind of a sneak peek for next week. I'm going to be asking Christina all about how she structures our lessons <laughs> at Immerse because um, she has quite a system for creating them. So we'll get to dive into that into into detail. Um, and then, yeah, like, like we said, pretty much what we're going to do is every week we're going to kind of pivot back and forth between either something related to curriculum or something related to research. Um, and then, you know, we'll break it up here and there with some episodes on other topics as well. But yeah, I think that concludes our first episode. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Those of you who watched and Trisha, thank you for, mm -hmm. for having the chat. Yeah, of course. You too.